Foxrod dashboard update, which kind of changed the whole face of everything, came out, I think it was yesterday or the day before. And I pay attention to a lot of feeds on Twitter and the comment section on different sites. A lot of us gamers hate this new layout. Personally, I really like it. I think it's very clean, it's very pretty, it's well organized. Um, but there are a few things that I find a little questionable. First of all, the Xbox system is a gaming system when it all comes down to it. But one thing I noticed right away, and I was wondering is, why is the box to play the game that's in my system so small? My only answer to that is Microsoft obviously doesn't want us turning on our 360 and going straight into the game. They want us turning on our 360 and seeing this big box and something we might want to buy. That makes sense. They want to make money off of us. That's fine. And of course, they want us to turn on live and be instantly attracted to what's on the main screen. Again, they don't want us going straight into the game. I still think the box to actually play a game should be a little bit bigger and not just a side note on this home page. Something else that's kind of small that really bothers me is I can't scroll through the main topics, home, social, video, by hitting right or left trigger. This bothers me. That's annoying. Instead, I have to scroll around and then back up to get to where I want to go. It's a little frustrating because it forces me to have to move around a little bit more. So what? I'm a lazy gamer. I just think that maybe tab browsing would have been a little bit of a smarter, smarter idea for them. Then, of course, you can go to the social tab. See some friends. They must be playing something in a party. Um, you've got... What looks like my most recent achievements here, I'm so close to 40,000. I'm excited, I can't wait to reach it, which means I'm probably getting about, at least this past year, I probably got about 10,000, because I remember last year's New Year's resolution was that I got to 30,000, which I did, and now I'm almost at 40. And then there's some other tabs on the side, social apps, I can sign in or out. Social apps, of course, is your messages, your avatar, your theme things, and most importantly, those wonderful achievements. Then next up top is your video tab. I very rarely ever used the video tab on the old dashboard. I only came here for Netflix, which if you look, Netflix is not anywhere on this main page, which is kind of annoying. In fact, all this is this page is dedicated to ads. That's all these things are. They're just advertisements. Although I love Xbox Live's new new makeover, it is more of just like a big tabable commercial. It's not so much about gaming anymore. It's more about how many ads they can fit onto one page. So let's find Netflix. Netflix under video, which is odd, because Netflix is all video, so it looks like I won't ever be using this tab. Next up is games. You've got a sales and special section over here, a very loud ad. <laughs> this cycling ad, which is basically going to be your DLC advertisement for new release of DLCs. Again, the My Game section is a very small tab off to the side. And of course, the Game Marketplace, which allows you to view Connect Game, new releases, demos, DLC, and things like that. The Game Content page has its own little menus up top, featured games, add-ons, extras, demos. These sections are very cluttered, I feel. It's still pretty. I love images. And this is all images, very little words, but it's still kind of cluttered. Um, this is going to take some getting used to. And let's go to the music section, another section I've never visited in the old Xbox Live, and I probably will never visit it here either. I mean, music apps and your Zoom music marketplace. But seriously, how many people have a Zoom? I don't think many people ever have a Zoom. I had a Zoom at one point, but then I got an iPod, and um, I quickly found no need for my Zoom. Oh, there's our Netflix in the apps section, of course, because that totally makes sense that Netflix wouldn't be in the video section. But here you've got Hulu, ESPN, an app I'll never use, Last FM, Epics, 
I'm not quite sure what that is yet. I haven't really gone and played around in there. Apps Marketplace. Guess you can go and get more apps. And my apps, which obviously I uh, don't have any. Lastly, settings, kind of basically the same thing um, as before. So yeah, I really do like the new Xbox Live dashboard. I think it's really pretty. Um, I wouldn't really say I think it's really laid at, well laid out, because I do think it's a little bit of a clusterfuck right now. It's going to take some years getting used to where everything is. Like when I still go in here and I was looking through the demos, it felt like I had to go searching for them instead of just before I, I kind of knew where the demo section was. So that is taking, getting just, taking time to get used to the interface. But the one thing I still kind of feel a little bit jerked around on is this is obviously an idea from the marketing team. And if not, marketing loves this because they can easily manipulate what we see. With this big thing, as soon as we turn on live, it's not taking us to what games we want to play. It's taking us to a big-ass ad. And that's just them being able to show us what they want to show us and make us see what they want to see at any given time. I do feel like the new dashboard is much more ad-centric than the past one. But, you know, they've got to make their money, so of course it's going to be a lot more ad-centric. But I do feel that the new dashboard isn't as focused on gaming as I think a game console should be. Again, the, the game apps are very small. It is, it's a little bit weird to navigate and really find what you're looking for. So I'm interested to play around in it some more and maybe in a month or two, I'll have it down and I'll like it a lot more. I would really like to hear what you guys think about it, especially those of you who absolutely hate this new, uh, this new dashboard. Why do you really hate it? Because I do think it is it is uh, visually pleasing with all the pretty colors and ads and everything. But other than that, what are some of the functionalities you dislike about it? Love to hear from you. Well, guys, thanks for watching uh, my little opinion and review of the new Xbox Live dashboard. As you can see, whoop, here's me. That's my Xbox Live gamer tag for all of those who always ask. My list is full right now, but I do occasionally do a little cleanup of people that haven't been on in months. Thanks for watching.